Bonjour, je suis Jackie et j'ai étudié français. Thank you all so much for watching my last video on 30 days of Duolingo. I wanted to provide an update since then after doing 100 plus days of Duolingo. And I wanted to be very transparent about what I personally did with learning as well as uh, my general progress and thoughts about the program. And I also want to thank you all so much. You've been so helpful in the comments with providing suggestions on how I can improve my learning process. I haven't done all of them yet. I've still just been doing Duolingo, but I'm excited to try out all the things that you've suggested, such as other YouTube channels that I should follow. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So in the previous video, I made a goal to learn Think through unit two, and I didn't quite meet that goal. I completed almost everything in unit one and started a little bit of unit two. But I spent some of my time to diversify my learning, either to reinforce the mistakes that I made and uh, do some lessons that way, or by doing some of the more auditory experiences, such as the listening of stories, uh, the conversing of the stories, as well as listening to the French Duolingo podcast, which I think was also a really good way to continue to work on the pronunciation, which is really important to my experience learning. Throughout the 100 days, I'm going to be honest, some of the days it would be maybe just a quick little 10 minute lesson. Other days I would be much more invested and have more time so I could spend 30 to even 40 minutes on Duolingo and just continuing to practice and hone on my skills. Throughout the 100 days, I learned a little bit more about conjugating as well as the gender pronouns for uh, different objects and overall, I think, improved on my vocabulary. That said, even throughout the 100 days, I think there were still a few things that I didn't get to cover. For instance, I still don't even know how to count from 1 through 10 um, through the Duolingo app through other means like videos and um, full books like this, I've been able to do some of that basic learning. So that's just one little tip I have about the ordering of the Duolingo app. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't start you off with some of the things that I feel like are pretty foundational um, to learning that you would typically do um, in a more formalized environment when learning a language. I felt like when I took Spanish in high school, we would start with more basic terms like the um, building blocks of sounds and also uh, the just general uh, things that I guess are basic like numbers and things like that. So I was a little surprised that we haven't really gotten to that point yet. But I do think that the learning is catered towards people who are maybe interested in traveling to the city and need just a few key directional words. That said, if I were ever in France, I could at least scrape on by with a few phrases like où sont les toilettes and j'ai vu un croissant et une tasse de thé. I also think that if you were a beginner and didn't have any rooting in a romantic language that this app would be really good for beginners. But as someone who has had background in a romantic language and learning Spanish, sometimes I can get a little bit bored about some of the lessons learned. I kind of want to advance a little bit more and learn the vocabulary a little bit quicker because at some point I feel like I'm pretty good with understanding the grammar rules. Right now I don't feel like I have a lot of words to say, but if someone was to hand me a quiz with how to conjugate a certain word, I would feel pretty confident in that. I think now during this next section of my learning of French, I'll continue to use Duolingo as a way to kind of practice my grammar and also continue to learn new vocabulary and practice also my speaking and listening. But to supplement that, based on some of the suggestions that you all said in the comments, I think I'm also gonna start looking into some other videos to kind of continue to expand my vocabulary and learn more um, different perspectives and angles from the language learning. I think listening is one of the things that I would like to practice more. It's very challenging as a beginner and a little bit heart disheartening when a native speaker is speaking so quickly and you can't catch anything. So definitely going to continue to just practicing and listening to more things, maybe even start watching some shows. If anyone has any recommendations, that would be awesome.
even though my learning has been a little slower than I expected, I'm still very satisfied with having the Duolingo app. It's a really easy way for me to continue to learn uh, French every day. I don't think if I had something like that, I wouldn't necessarily be as uh, motivated to do it. It's really great because it's something that I can do uh, consistently every day. Here are a few things that I would consider if you're on the fence still about dedicating so much time to Duolingo. One, I think it's a really great way for learners to at least start their learning process. I think it's important if you want to break into the intermediate stage to start supplementing with other material as well. But that said, I think it's been a really great um, and friendly and super accessible way to get started in the language. Because it's so convenient on my app, I feel like I don't have any excuse to not learn every day. Um, so that's something that I really value and appreciate in the app. I think it's also a really easy way to get into language learning if you ever feel intimidated. In general, if you're not sure you want to get Premium Plus, then I'd recommend just starting off with the free version, get into it a few days, and if you really enjoy it after a month's worth of learning, I'd say it's time to go ahead and invest in a Premium Plus account if you are an avid learner. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck to all the people who are learning. I'd love to read your comments, so please continue to let me know how you're doing. I guess the next time I'll check in again in like 200 days, which is nuts, but expect that. Um, in the meantime, I'll still be posting other videos. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. A bientôt. This is where I put my Duolingo sponsorship. If I had one! Sorry, what's the happy? But the happy.